Hi everyone, in this video we're going to evaluate this limit. So we're given this function f of x equals 1 over x plus 3 and we have to evaluate this limit that involves uh, delta x. Uh, you may not already know this, but you may know it also. Um, this is actually something called the derivative of the function. So um, we're assuming when we do this problem that we don't know what that is. Uh, but if you, would, if you did know what that was, you could take other approaches and do the problem that way. Anyways, let's go ahead and work this out very carefully. So the first step is to actually evaluate the function at this value. So f of x is 1 over x plus 3. So all you do here is replace the x with x plus delta x. So it's actually 1 over x plus delta x. And then we still have the plus 3. So this here is simply this piece minus, and then f of x is 1 over x plus 3. So this is 1 over x plus 3. And all of this is being divided still by delta x. So again, first step is you look at f of x and you replace all of your x's with x plus delta x to get this. And then the f of x, you don't, you just keep it. Okay, so now we have to simplify the numerator. Note, note that this is in parentheses. So the way I do it, I take a big shortcut. So this is the limit as delta x approaches zero. So the bottom piece is unchanged. So we'll leave it there. And then here in the numerator, I write down the product. So I just go ahead and, and just write it down. So it's, it's x plus delta x plus three times x plus three. And what I do is I write it down first, okay? And then I write down whatever is here, so one. And then I ask myself, okay, so, so what's missing, right? What's missing here to get the LCD here, to get this? You already have this. In order to get this, you're missing an x plus three. So it's always one times what's missing. So you're missing an x plus three minus whatever is here. And then what's missing here? Well, that would be x plus delta x plus three. So x plus delta x plus three. So it's always this times whatever is missing to get the LCD minus this times whatever is missing. So here it's one, we're missing the x plus three to get this minus one, we're missing this, right, in order to get it. So we have to put that there. Okay, we can distribute now. This is the limit as delta x approaches zero. And we still have that delta x in the bottom. It's really important to uh, keep that there. Let's distribute here. So we have x, I'll show the step, plus three, Distribute the minus x, you get minus x, minus delta x, minus 3. And it's all over. We still have x plus delta x plus 3, x plus 3. And this, my friends, is in parentheses, right? So that's still in parentheses there. The x's cancel, the 3's cancel. Let's keep going. I'm going to come up here. This is the limit as delta x approaches 0. Um, looks like we have... Um, we're left with this negative delta x. So we have negative delta x over this x plus delta x plus 3, x plus 3. And all of this is being divided by delta x, right? So when you divide by delta x, you really multiply by the reciprocal. So you can think of delta x as delta x over 1. So the reciprocal of that would be 1 over delta x. So this is the limit as delta x approaches zero. I'm gonna go ahead and rewrite all of this. So it'd be x plus delta x plus three, x plus three. Then it's times, right, the reciprocal of that, right, which is, which is one over delta x, right, one over delta x. And these go away, boom. So this is the limit as delta x approaches zero of negative one over, and then you have x plus delta x plus three, x plus three, now we're in a good place, right? We're in a good place. So it's just, it's a lot of writing to get through this problem. Now you can finally replace your delta x with zero. When you do that, you drop the limit sign, right? So you get negative one over x plus three, x plus three, and x plus three times x plus three is x plus three squared. So this is negative one over x plus three quantity squared. And that would be the final answer. So quick recap. First step is you replace your x with x plus delta x, your f of x with f of x, you get this. Write down the LCD, it's always one, and then times what's missing here, 
What's missing here to get the LCD? You're missing an X plus three, so it's one times X plus three minus, and then what's missing here to get the LCD? You're missing this, so it's one times this. And then you just distribute, clean it up, when you get here, you have to divide by delta x. That's the same thing as multiplying by the reciprocal. Clean it up, and at this point, you finally plug in your delta x, and you drop your limit sign, and then you're done. So I hope this video has been helpful in some way. Take care.